Good day everyone, it's Warren from Incure Explorers. Today I'm a very long way from home, I'm in East Tennessee in the USA and we're doing a bit of Civil War relic hunting. With me today is uh, Steve Moore. Uh, Steve doesn't need any, any introduction to any of you blokes that are watching these videos because he's well known in the relic hunting uh, scene and uh, his, his uh, hunts he's done with Garrett and all over the US on these Civil War sites and he's made some great finds. And also we've got Randy and Sham. Uh, I'd like to thank you blokes for letting us onto this site because it's uh, it's just a beautiful spot, the weather's perfect and uh, we can, we're going we're gonna to make some great finds in here today and you guys, we all have, so it's been great. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah. So you guys have been hunting this site for a while? Yeah, we've been hunting for a while. Uh, never lets us down. We've probably pulled a couple hundred relics out of here. Uh, everybody's told us over the years that it's uh, been dug out, but you know, they're, not, they're not using pulse machines. We've got these ATXs out here and uh, like today, I'm sure they've seen earlier some of the digs finds we've yeah. found so far yeah. and they'll see some more later and uh, well, we really great. enjoy it. This soil's red hot here. Yeah. You know, I've found that I've gone down that slope there, the soil variation uh, makes, you have the ground balance fairly constantly because you start to get a bit of chatter, she starts to drift off. So it takes a bit of work, but and you get some funny target signals, but uh, VLFs are going to struggle in here. But, you like uh, your back on with that red dirt? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Take you a five gallon bucket where you yeah. Just yeah. play with I'll take some, right? I'll get that through customs. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you're enjoying our video and uh, we're going to go make some more finds now. Let's do it. Yeah. Good. Okay, it's zero degrees Celsius. Here we are in the Tennessee fog on Artillery Hill. We're going to have a bit of a hunt round here on these, uh, this grass area where these hay bales are. And then down in that bit of uh, bush there, the woods, uh, that's pretty much untouched. So we're going to have a bit of crack in there too. So there's plenty of land here we can hunt. Uh, and we should get, get some good finds out of here. There's been some good stuff come out of here already, but there'll be plenty more to come. What's my first relic? It's a square now. It's a good uh, low high signal. Another square now. Not far from the last one we got. It's a high low, so it's low conductivity. Normally what you listen for in the golf field. This could be lead the way it's sounding. Hey! Steve! Steve! Got a button! Button! A nice button, a really nice one! A button! Check it out. <laughs> no shank on it, but it looks really good. Yeah, oh, that's a coat button. Coat button. Coat button, yeah. Check it out, Civil War. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Let's see if it has an Let eye. Go. See if it has an eye on it. Yeah, they, we, they, we most of these up here are eyes. The deep? This is shield. It was it's an inch. Oh. Low high. Good coat. Yeah. Good coat. Well, no, it was a high yeah. low. I Thank told you we'd catch you, buddy. Well, that's, that's a sweet coat. Yes, yes. That's cool. cool. Major, most of our majority of them up here are eyes. Yeah. You do have some of those mixed in, so well, congratulations, yeah, so man. You don't crush it. Yep. Don't just throw it in the bottom of your fines pouch. <laughs> yeah, or my pocket. Oh, yeah, good stuff. I got a couple of tackle boxes. Yes, please. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. thanks very much. No that problem. is fantastic. Go see in America, find a civil war. What about that? <laughs> That's my third target on this shot. I've got two nails and an infantry button. Sweet. Well, I've got another high low down here, potentially more lead. But uh, any time it's lead, it's potentially a uh, round of ammunition. So we'll have a look at this one. Move the gear out of the way. As you can see, it's in the clump that I've got out of the ground. 
No signal. Sounds like it's uh, very close to the coil too. And this clump here. Okay, I got it in my hand. So look and see what this is. Could just be more of that camp lead. It's not a real large item, you can hear that proportional audio is only quite soft. And it's a... Oh, it looks like it's a little button. It may be a button or it may be a, uh, a poncho loop. I think it's a poncho loop. Nice. That was a nice little signal as you could hear. It looks like there's writing on there though. I'll uh, magnify that and put it on the subtitles if there's anything uh, of interest on that, but it could be a poncho loop. Definitely brass. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Or is that? Now that's some kind of farm junk. I don't know if it's farm junk or we found stuff that somebody was telling me came off like the cannon placements and stuff. Like yeah. the metal pieces like something blew up. I'd hold See, off and clean it real good. Yeah. But they used to put like stuff signal. like that in canister shot and that sort of sort of like, uh, yeah. like shrapnel. shrapnel. Yeah. You never know. A big hunk. Yeah. That's better than his find than Warren's find. I'm really enjoying this here today. I mean I'm in Tennessee and I'm on a actual battlefield. I mean I love this military relic hunting back home mostly World War II stuff of course in Australia um, and camps and, and areas that had been were bombed by the Japanese but they weren't actually battlefields this here is an actual battlefield that changed hands several times between the Union and the Confederate forces so potentially there's all sorts of stuff on here let's have a look at this one okay I got it in my hand high low and yes it's a bullet have a look at that covered in mud but that is a drop pistol round by the look of it i'll just go and check with sham and see what we've got here i just want sham to have a look at this one is that a pistol bullet i haven't cleaned the dirt off it yet but that looks like it it's only a tiny round we found some, what is it, 44 Colts up here? Oh, okay. caliber pistol bullets? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Civil War. Yeah. You don't see any stray, you know, lines in it? Yep. It's not it, modern, it's, it's, it's period. It. Oh, righto. And I didn't see any, so. No, it doesn't look like it. It's, uh, well, I won't clean it here in the field. I'll wait till I get back to camp. There you go. Yeah. Good no worries. far down. It was pretty loud on the audio. You got yours on swoop that hole again. See if it's out. Okay, it's in the clump there, yeah. Hey. What is that? That is a hook knapsack hook. Yep. Brass. Yep. See the yeah. patina. Yeah. Nice one. And it gave a little iron grind. Bent. Yeah, it yeah, gave it a little iron grind. Isn't that yeah. interesting? Yeah. That's what gets me up here. You got to be careful with that. So you just got to dig I it all. Dig everything. Yeah. You just got to dig it all. That's great. Cool. Nice one. Sam's just called out, he's got a button up here. He just got a nice uh, knapsack uh, hook. Now he's got a button in the same spot. It's general nice. service. Nice. Still got the shank. Nice got the shank. It's a little bent, but clean all that That's mud all good. off of it. Might have cleaned it up later, but I like to clean the front, see if it's got the eye in it. But yeah. There's another button. So uh, general service, what do you mean? Yes, but, yeah. General service means it's just, uh, it's not infantry, it's just your regular uh, soldiers. 
Oh, okay. You know, just your enlisted guys, right not infantry, not cavalry, not right artillery. Oh, yeah. Because you get I's, A's, and C's and something. Yeah, yeah. So, but we call it just a general service. doesn't have stars, so it's not an officer. Okay. So, right, that's great. Yeah. We're finding some stuff up here. Maybe it's right buck, buck, buck ball, 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 yeah. Yeah. You reckon or not? Yeah, that's bigger than a buck ball. That looks like half of one, doesn't it? Like the base. Mashed up. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a, it's half a, a round ball. It's the base of a, of a, a round ball. Like a pointed round yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah, okay. You we have found, the look, they've cut it off. See Mighty there? Camp chopped so it. Oh, yeah. Camp chopped it. See oh, the hole? Sweet. Yeah, that's sweet. We found some of these up here. Where they've just cut the ends off like checker pieces or something? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a neat little find. Yeah, that's yeah. You know what they say that's you personal. do with a half a bullet like that? Yeah. <laughs> He's found another chopped another off of piece crap. of lead <laughs> like we lined up here. Chopped off lead. Chopped off bullet. Oh, yeah. We find a lot of those up here. The other thing we get is they're round and we think they're checker pieces because they'll have an X on one side and they're smooth on oh, the other. Oh, okay. But they're flattened. Like they're they flattened. took a hammer oh, and flattened them checkers out. Either. Playing checkers. Yeah. Or just a little grommeter. Or is it yeah, and stuff. Uh, that one you got when you cleaned it up is going to be beautifully green. Yeah. It gives you a real squeaking high tone for yeah. the brass like mm -hmm. that. Just don't use water on it. Well, I'm going to take your advice. Yeah, yeah don't use water. It. No, yeah, it'll take just green take a green. Steve said that, don't yeah. you? Take you just, a, just take a little brush. Take a little brush. And, uh, and a brush. That's like a... That's not a cuff. Is that like a... Uh, that's a coat. Yeah, that's the bigger one. Mm -hmm. The coat buttons are bigger than that. Those are the shirt buttons, I call them. The cuff button would be about that size. Oh, okay. Jacket button. Yep. So, well, good. You got two neat finds. Two That's keepers. Nice, so. That's real good. <laughs> and it's, uh... Oh, sorry, low. It's going to be lead, I'd say, but yeah. Not a lot of camp lead in this in this particular spot. Well, I've just dug this item from about uh, four inches down. It appears to be a brass tri or triangle, obviously. Perhaps a bit of uh, Civil War webbing. I'm just going to check with Sham and see if he uh, can identify this for me. No hooks. You're finding it, man. That's great. Beautiful. So that's union equipment? Yes, sir. Well, yeah. yeah or could be. Or would could be. be. Either yeah. way, knapsack hooks. So yeah. it's a knapsack hook? It's, it's part of a knapsack, yeah. So you have two hooks. This is like on a piece of leather like this. Yeah. And you'd have a hook here and a hook there. Oh, okay, yeah. hook onto it. Yeah. You'd yep. Two straps. That's nice. That's a good find. Yes, sir. Civil War, that's for sure. Are you Excellent. You're it up over there. Well, this tug is potentially iron. It did give a little grunt, but on this side, I'm just digging everything because uh, I'm concerned that some things might identify as iron on the fringes, and they aren't iron. I think it's going to be a nail, which I can probably see it right there. Old square nail. See it right here? It's a bullet. Nice drop three ringer. Yes. Hey, Warren! Just take it out of the pile. Oh, nice. Nice three ringer. 
That's a beauty, that one. Three Gee, there's some stuff in here. Yeah. Oh, that, well, like I say, it's oh, yeah. sparse, but it's here. Yeah. Yeah. What's a high tone on that? Huh? It's what a high it? low. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of a low high. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Nice little three ringer, nice little. Pulled. It's pulled. Oh, it sure is pulled. Yeah. That's what? Pulled. It's pulled. This, this. Got stuck in the barrel and they take see the, a See the, uh, the winding the where they fished it out of the barrel. Yeah. Fished it out mm -hmm. of the barrel, so yep. it was a pull bullet. Yeah. Cool. There's, there's a little corkscrew they yeah, put on the end of the rod that yeah. goes down. Yep. There and where it went in. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice little find. That's sure right. Right. It's here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Authentic. 12th Georgia. You got one of those? No, I haven't. I think it said 12 GA, 12th Georgia Regiment. Yeah, uh, 12 gauge, you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Mark, I've got a few of those. Hey, it's got a three ringer. It looks like a dropped, a dropped three ringer. That's in pretty sweet condition too. Sure, it's not a mushroom. It's a two ring or three ring? Uh -huh. You guys be know more about that than me. That's a sharps. Yeah. It's a sharps, sharps carbon. carbon. I'm, solid, I'm pretty sure it's a solid, solid base. base. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's Can a drop to too. How about that? Put it go to those. Yeah. Find a lot of grass in here. Like that. right, way to go. Nice bullet. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. All right. Good deal, man. Right. The dimple in the middle of them. Gallagher, the hole. The yeah. hole. But they're yeah, usually longer than that. That's the tip of it. That's See just it? the tip. And that's oh, a yeah. Gallagher with the thing, but usually, usually they're, they're that, that long. long. Yeah. 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 Then underwear button. Underwear button. Underwear button. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. There like a fly or something. Buttons. Yeah. yeah. Fly and this is a. This could be a Henry. I haven't cleaned it up yet. The base Too of it. Yeah, yeah. Henry. That's yep. a Spencer. And uh, button back. The front's going on it. So there's a brands on the buttons on those. A lot of times they'll be like Waterberry. Oh, yeah. the back or yeah. um, when you clean the back ears it may have a marker yeah. ma yep. mark on the back of yep. it oh, yeah. a lot of times they're waterberry but yeah you know, there's different there's different kinds but see these whisper signals you gotta dig too yeah this soil is so hot it masks well, it, all kinds of well it's a big target but it's a so, yeah. smaller signal yeah yeah yeah, this soil it. plays tricks on you man i'm telling yeah. you it's oh, right, i'm ground balancing all the way down the hill because it seems to be changing and oh yeah yeah and, and that's that there is full of old red bricks oh, and yeah. it's really hot. Virginia, yeah. this is the way the soil is when we dig in Virginia. Yeah, you, yeah. you just, you got to dig it all because yeah. if you don't, you're going to miss something. Yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations. Yeah, yeah good. You're raking up. A nice little brass buckle there. See the nice green patina on that? Give a good strong signal. Still a few things left to find out here, I guess. Okay, this bridge here, uh, which dates from the period of the Civil War, you can see the one on the left, the old pylon is the Civil War uh, era. The one on the right was built in 1908. Uh, it's the newer bridge. This was blown up several times during the war uh, by, uh, I guess, Union and Confederate forces. But uh, Randy, you're going to tell us a bit about that. what happened here? Uh, originally, the Confederates held this bridge first, and then the Union attacked and took control of it, and then the Confederates attacked again. 
In all, it switched hands about four times. It's been burned down and rebuilt four times during the war. Uh, two Confederate trains have actually derailed and went off this bridge. But this this bridge, there is a famous photograph that you can look online. Yeah. Uh, so it shows a soldier standing guard right on top of this bridge. Okay, I'll put that in the video. Yeah. So this obviously this is an important uh, uh, logistics ra railway for, to the this south. This is one of the last bridges in East Tennessee. So it was highly sought after by both sides to keep this bridge. Okay, that's a brilliant, lovely bit of history. And it's still here, that's what I like yes. to see. Yeah. Well, I've climbed up here on this, uh, the rubble that was perhaps part of the demolished bridge uh, during one of the uh, many demolitions that took place here, as uh, Randy just explained. It's quite a big pile on it. We're high up above this river. And that's the current bridge, which was built in the early 1900s. I came back here for an hour. I found two Gardner bullets over there, which we've never hunted over there. So I said, guys, I found two Confederate bu bullets. So we came back here and he went there 10 minutes and got that plate. Jeez. And it was unreal. So that's like a creek river back this way. Yeah. River is just straight back that way. You There's found stuff old... that way? Hmm? You found stuff that way? We have found stuff everywhere in here. All right. Well, let's just crisp uh, yeah, let's crack it. It's very shallow, it looks like a bit of surface. You never know what's going to be in here. A shot pistol bullet. Oh no, it's too small. Well, it's carved lead. Might be camp lead that's been worked on by one of the soldiers. I thought it was a bullet, but it's too small. It could be a fragment of one. What'd you find, Steve? Nothing good. Modern bullets. Yeah. You know you've done some, huh? Yeah, that's what we want to put here in some kind of bottle. That's some rough hunting back in there. I reckon. Well, I've been in places like that where you go along, you start finding bullets, and yeah, this is all right. I don't mind getting cut up a little bit. Yeah. That. Yeah, they don't mind taking the damage if you get something back for it. Yeah. Another three ringer. It's a beautiful signal too. Ripper. We've got something in the swamp here. It's coming around this way. Potentially another wet, uh, round. Maybe camp lead because I just got that round, so. It's another one of those iron balls. I think this is what I got earlier on this morning before lunch. Maybe it's some sort of 
canister shot, I, I don't know. Very small ball though. Iron ball. Well here we are with the wrap up. We've had a great day in here. We've done a few hours. We've done uh, this hillside in the morning in the cold and the fog and then we went over that old uh, railway bridge that dated from the Civil War. We came back here in the afternoon. Um, we've probably got about an hour of light left so we're going to wrap it up but uh, I want to get uh, Sham or Randy, you guys can tell us what we've actually found here. Well what we got here is we got a knapsack triangle. You got two hooks on this end and you take another one of these hooks it up in here like this and then you have two J hooks that come off either end which we didn't find any today. He's got a general service nice eagle coat button here. These bullets I'm not familiar with what they are. This to me looks like it's a Spencer. Uh, I may be wrong but people correct me this is a Henry cartridge brass cartridge here. Uh, these iron balls I, I think there's some kind of canister shot we find a lot of them up here where we're at. He's got a piece of cut off bullet here like they were going to use it or carve it for something. Maybe they carved the other piece of bullet. This was what was left and dropped. He's got a uh, poncho grommet here, which is brass. Mm. And then we come down here, we got some shell frags. Pieces of shell frag, nice. Here we got a brass uh, buckle, we believe some horse tack. It's a nice brass piece here, found here. Then we'll go over here. We've got a Gallagher. And you can tell it's Gallagher because it's a rounded tip with the dimple in them so we can tell those are the Gallagher's. Here's a Henry, nice brass Henry cartridge here. Here's a trouser button made out of iron or pewter. They ring out high just like you know the brass tones do. We got a button back here, another Henry, poncho grommet. We got us a knapsack hook here. It's a nice thick one here. Some more poncho grommets up here. A lot of camp lead here. We find a lot of this camp lead here. We find a lot of these rings where they've cut them off the back of three ringers, uh, the bullets, and I, I don't know what they're for, if they're chess pieces or checker pieces. Then we go down here, we've got a nice three ring drop bullet that was pulled. You can see the little wormhole here. You can see where the gear kind of caught it here to pull it out of the rifle. It got stuck, misfired. We've got a Henry cartridge, small little buck ball, nice thick grommet here. I call them grommets. They call them, uh, what do you call them, Randy? Rivets. Rivets. Uh, we don't know what they go to. Uh, somebody will probably tell us. Nice general service cuff button with shank on the back. A little dirt. I haven't cleaned them yet. And this is a damaged Gallagher. You can see the dimple in the back where it's been punched in. Some more camp lead and a button back. And that's basically what we found today. You know, not bad for a day's find. Well, I'd just like to uh, thank everyone for watching that video, but uh, in particular, uh, I'd like to sh uh, thank Sham and uh, Randy, uh, because this, we've had a great day here, and Steve coming along with us, and he's organised all this for us, so we've had a fantastic time here. We've found some great relics. Like I said, this, this is pretty special for me, personally, because it's the first time I've actually hunted a battlefield. I've done plenty of World War II stuff, but not battlefields. So this is uh, really special for me. I've had a great time here. We're all pretty tired. We're going to go and have a beer. Thanks for watching. Let me start out like, good day mates, like that, and we'll go that way. And <laughs>